Clock in, clock in. Black got it to walk in. Yeah. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his fighters, bitch. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his fighters. Yeah, crunch time, yeah, nigga, it's lunch time. Let go, crunch time, yeah, nigga, it's lunch time. Yeah, crunch time, yeah, nigga, it's lunch time. Let go, crunch time, yeah, nigga, it's lunch time. He dead. Team Black got a stun up, man. Yo, make sure y'all sub. Make sure y'all go to my Instagram. I will find a way to get my Instagram thing back on the screen, but I ain't doing it right now. Especially after I edit this, I'm not on that vibe. You dig what I'm saying? But this video we watching right now is the girl who got murdered while filming TikTok, bro. This is bad. It's a viral moment. Y'all, uh, let's get to this video. This is the story of Khaleesi William, a 16-year-old girl murdered while recording what would be her last TikTok video. Disclaimer, the video is to bring awareness. I ain't gonna lie, bro. There'll be a lot too much twerking going on on TikTok. Mr. to Khaleesi Williams' story and meant to cause no harm. Please pray for the friends and the family of the victim. Atlanta, Georgia, gained national news in 2020 after a horrifying death of a young girl. In December 2020, Khaleesi Williams, a 16-year-old high school student, received an invite to a party that was going to be held at an Airbnb. This party would be chaperoned by an adult. I don't know why them house parties just ain't it. It really just ain't it. And then when they say the house party is chaperoned by an adult, it's an old ass person who childish is here who, who now time to be chaperoning the event. Like them parties don't be it, bro. Father, Ronnie Savoy, encouraged her to go to the event since she had been confined to her house since the lockdown due to COVID-19. He's supposed to be at an Airbnb with a couple of more friends from school and the mother. They'd have done this once before, so we was a little comfortable of letting her go the second time. And we spoke to the mother, and she said she was going to be there. April Smith, Khaleesi's mother agreed with her daughter getting some time out of the house and enjoying herself. The chaperone informed Khaleesi's parents that the event would be an Airbnb party for children and that she would be responsible for everything. The parents felt at ease and decided that sending Khaleesia to spend the night with I wonder do she still feel like she's responsible for everything? Especially after how the situation played out. Like, real question. Like, you still take responsibility for that? Uh, uh that ain't your fault no more. Like, cause we need to know. You feel what I'm saying? Good for her. At 12.02 a.m., Khaleesia is seen performing a dance routine in her TikTok video when someone suddenly entered her room without knocking. The teen looked shocked and afraid then suddenly stops filming her video. The sound of gunshots could be heard from her room a few minutes later. Partygoers were unaware of what happened to Khaleesia. What Two guys heck? discovered Khaleesia on the floor of her hotel room. They carried her to the elevator while holding her from behind and what supporting her legs. As of 12.27 a.m., authorities had been notified about an early legs. As of 12.27 a.m., authorities had been notified about an earlier disturbance at Hyatt Regency. Following their arrival, the cops went to check on Khaleesia. She wasn't breathing and had no pulse. She was then transferred to the hospital. What the hell? So somebody just walked inside the hotel room and just shot her just for doing a TikTok? Like, what in the hell? Where she remained for some time. The medical staff tried to save Khaleesia's life but were unsuccessful. The 16-year-old was pronounced dead in the hospital. Khaleesia's parents called the chaperone to check on the well-being of their child but were only informed about their child's death eight hours after she passed. It was a shock to Khaleesi's parents to learn of what had happened to their daughter. They were enraged because the chaperone had failed to tell them sooner of the occurrence. The hotel room was in her name, so I feel like she should be held accountable for my daughter's death as well. They didn't learn the group was staying at a house. I just told y'all, she ain't... Soon they went to talk about, oh, somebody passed away? Can't be. Oh, I went, I went to go get McDonald's real quick. I had to go to the store real quick. Nah, yeah, I told y'all I'd take full responsibility, but I ain't know the responsibility would have to be somebody passing away. Hyatt Regency until they received a horrific call the next day. Like, this is the morgue. And I was like, the morgue? They was like, yes, ma'am. They was like, well, we're waiting on your daughter's body to come through. I'm like, whoa. Khaleesi's parents say that call didn't come until 8.45 a.m. The teen was pronounced dead at 12.23 in the morning. Khaleesi's parents were also unaware that the party had moved to Hyatt Regency Hotel. That's what I'm saying. It done turned from a B&B to Hyatt real quick. Instead of the Airbnb that was previously discussed. 
The parents felt like the chaperone should be held accountable for the tragedy that happened to their daughter since she took responsibility for the safety of the children at the party and her parents only allowed Calicia to attend the party on the assurance that the chaperone would look after her. Atlanta Police Department report that Calicia knew her attacker. Anthony Grant, the police spokesman of the Atlanta Police Department reported as follows. Preliminary investigation suggests that the victim was inside of a room at the Hyatt Regency with a juvenile male companion. A verbal dispute occurred between both parties which resulted in the juvenile male fatally shooting the victim. The juvenile is a 16-year-old boy, but identity is being concealed. The 16-year-old boy was taken into custody by Atlanta police and taken to Atlanta police headquarters for additional questioning. At this time, the boy admitted to shooting Calicia after they got into a heated argument. Police then arrested the boy and charged him with felony murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a gun by someone younger than 18 years of age. The defendant is now being tried in an Atlanta court pending the court's ultimate judgment. Calicia's parents also hold the hotel staff responsible for her child's death and they protested outside of the Hyatt Regency Hotel along with supporters to express their outrage at the hotel's negligence that resulted in their daughter's death. I want the, the surveillance footage of what happened, you know, who went in that room, who came out of that room, who was all there, what took place, I need to know what happened after she made that last TikTok video at 12.02 and she was dead at 12.23. I need answers from 12.02 to 12.23. The family is deeply hurt by the passing of Khaleesi Williams and promises to get justice for her. I mean, the parent not wrong for feeling the way she feel, but come on now. You chaperone your own kid. And then how you don't even know the party moved from a BNB to Hyatt? You ain't called her when she got there and it was like, you good? You you there? Like, I don't know, man. People just be trusting other people with they turn too too easily, bro. They gonna fry his ass. I ain't gonna lie to you. They just gonna fry that little boy.